What's going on? Just wanted to react to another video of Pierre Polyev schooling Justin Trudeau. Who pays? Who pays for this latest $50 billion orgy of spending by this costly prime minister? We know who won't pay. It won't be those with trust funds that protect their millions of inheritance like the prime minister, nor the billionaires that invite him to their private Caribbean islands. They'll, they'll hide their money. You know who will pay? You will pay. You, the welder or waitress who can't pay your mortgage because he's inflated the mortgage rates, you will pay because he carbon taxed your food and now you can't feed your kids. Why should you pay for him? So we can restore the dream, particularly for young people, of home ownership, of a brighter future that the world is taking away from people all over the world. The Prime Minister likes to blame the world for the problems that he caused. He doubled the debt, doubled the rent, doubled mortgage payments, doubled the needed down payment, and now he's doubling down on the same costly mistakes that have made life unaffordable for Canadians. When will this Prime Minister realize that he's not worth the cost and that repeating the same thing nine times and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a great point. And again, this is from Pierre Polyev's YouTube channel, so I know it's a bit edited. But everything he's saying is right. Everything has doubled under Justin Trudeau. And, I, you know, I said in the video that I, I put out yesterday that, you know, we have $54 billion of interest to pay on our national debt. Who's paying for that? We are. So Justin Trudeau fucks up. We got to pay for it. Aren't governments supposed to be fiscally responsible and not do things like this and make sure that Canadians aren't paying two times amount of, amount of money for rent in just eight years? I mean, again, like Pierre Polyev is just doing a great job hammering home these points to Canadians, looking just pointing out the fact that things are so bad financially here. I'll admit, I don't like Pierre Polyev on every issue. I don't trust Pierre Polyev. However, the last time that rent was uh, affordable was when conservatives were in charge and Pierre Polyev was the housing minister. So they can talk all they want. Well, Pierre didn't build any houses. Neither have they. And rent has doubled and they, they let in millions of, of, immigra of immigrants. You can let in immigrants, but you have to have places for them to live and work. Yeah, there's a lot of jobs. Crap non-union, bad benefits, terrible wage jobs. That's what we have here for the most part. If you're an average person, you didn't go to, you know, you, you're not a lawyer or anything like that. You're just an average working class person. Wages are not that good, especially if you're under the age of 40. You're probably not making what the 60, you know, the, the person who's 60 years old right now might go back and say, well, 20 years ago, I was making good money. Okay. But since then, job, wages have been stagnant. People were making really good money in the 80s, 90s. You know why? Because $25,000, $35,000 a year take-home pay was a good paycheck. You can get a lot with that. When rent is $1,500 a month, what are you going to get? Or rather, not what are you going to get, but you know, if, if rent is $1,500 your, your $35,000 a year is not nearly as much. He's got to pay half of it in rent. Groceries have gone up. I heard about the gas prices today. 16 cents a liter in some places here in Hamilton. <laughs> I mean, our paychecks are not increasing, and they're becoming worth less money every single day, it seems like, with this prime minister. That's what needs to change. I don't agree with uh, Pierre Polyev's views on the war, the Ukraine war, for example. I know he's not going to stop it. I know he's not going to pull, well, he can't stop it, but he can pull the fundings, right? He, I know he's not going to do that. He should, and I'm going to get pissed off. And trust me, when he is prime minister, I promise you guys, I'm not just going to completely shill to the conservative government. When Pierre Polyev does some, some, something or says something that I don't like, I will call him out for it. And if he gets just as bad as Trudeau, I'll be saying the same things about him. Trust me on that one. Again, not conservative. I am pretty new to politics. I'm sure you can tell. Um, 
pretty new to YouTube as well. I've been doing it for just under a year, but you know, I, I, I have to, the reason I made this channel is because I want to talk about honestly what's going on, or at least honestly, in my opinion of what's really going on. When Pierre Polyev wins and becomes the next prime minister, if he screws up, when he screws up, I will be there to call him out. Trust me. So I just want to make that very clear. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with another video.